Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I just want to talk about the science of hadith. What I got out of it. I spent a whole day yesterday studying and a lot of that studying was the science of hadith. I listened to a lecturer uh, in hadith for about two hours and then I read uh, Bukhari's hadiths and I just want to share my thoughts about what I thought about hadith. First of all, uh, hadith is a big subject. There's a lot of there's a big it's a big science. It's a big topic to study. So uh, I've just I've only just started. So I, I I'm not even a baby in studying the hadith. I'm not even on the ladder of a baby. There's so much to study. But I made a start yesterday, and so I learned that there's so much to study, so much to read, and uh, some, you know, it's a massive topic, uh, and so I'm gonna, I'm working on studying the hadith systematically. I'm working through Bukhari to begin with. Secondly, um, the criteria of what makes an authentic hadith. It's very interesting. I find that an interesting topic of how you work out the criteria, who says the criteria is the correct criteria. The third thing that I find fascinating is how did the hadith start? The most authoritative hadith. Where did they start? And I'm interested in finding the origins of every hadith, the early origins, not just the chain connection, but finding out right at the beginning where did that hadith start. I find that very fascinating. Uh, fourth is there is controversy and debate about how you interpret hadith. There are Sunni and Shia differences on, on the hadith. There are Western scholars that take a different perspective on hadith and I'd like to learn more about these different perspectives. Uh, fifth, there seems to be evidence that some hadith uh, were political tools where for example Malik took a hadith or, in, or even manipulated or even invented a hadith in order to push his political agenda so I'd like to know has that gone on how much has that gone on who are the scholars that say either way uh, there are western scholars say that these hadith that are not are not historical they don't have any historical base a lot of them are fabrication so I'd like to look into that is that true um, and then sixthly, I think that um, I've been I've not been impressed by some of the hadith that I've re read in Bukhari, for example. If you look at the apostasy section, there is a statement that some Muslims burn atheists. Now, some of the Muslims told. I think that they were told off for doing that. But then it gets worse because it talks about there is Jew, a Jew became a, a Muslim and then went back to his Judaism and he was in prayer and he got killed because he he, he apostatized. And there is a number of cases in in the Bukhari hadith on apostasy that where they apostates that are killed and I just don't see how you can justify that as a Muslim how, how you can even begin to rationalize that um, and then seventh I think there's a big question about the sufficiency of the Quran if the Quran says something about prayer generally but doesn't give you the specifics and you have to use a hadith that gives you the specifics about prayer then it puts into question about the sufficiency of the Quran is if the Quran is the the word of God is it sufficient 
and how can it be sufficient if it's not giving you the detail about how to pray but you have to use the sunnah which is in the hadith so these are questions that I'm thinking about and so I'm working on that and I'm working on going through the Quran systematically uh, again and so I'm going to be working through that um, I find Islam fascinating uh, Islam fascinates me uh, and so I'll be doing that um, I have a calling with Muslims I, I love Muslims I enjoy talking to them I, I, I respect them and uh, I love talking about Islam and uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, studying Islam in a much more scholarly in-depth way over the next few weeks and months so I'm working through the hadith working through the Quran and I'm going to just get back I'm, I'm going to start getting back to studying Greek and Hebrew but when I get time I'm going to go back I'm going to go and try and study uh, Arabic um, so thank you take care